Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Mikey Will here again with another YouTube tutorial. Make sure if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today is part three of how to build a 48 volt battery. We're going to be putting on the BMS. I'm going to show you which places you shot. You guys should uh, put them on like the main negative and all the positives. I'm just going to show you what I do, how I do it and, um, and all the methods that I use. But like for each for each row that I'm using, I'm putting a, a little thing of captain tape so I remember which one I did and stuff like that. So for the first one, this is a negative uh, lead. I, I think I forgot to videotape it, but I showed it. I just showed it on. But for this one, this is the first uh, positive for the first string of no yeah for the first string of uh, positives um, from the from the BMS le uh, wiring harness lead leads. Yeah, so basically you're just going to flip the battery back and forth to all the positives. You're going to and you're going to solder it to the like the nickel strip of the cell and the hardest part is not transferring too much heat cuz it is a soldering iron and it gets very hot. So for this guys, you just really just want to go really slow, put a little bit of flux so it can stick cuz a nickel doesn't really want to stick to soldering uh soldering irons and solder. So it makes it a little bit difficult. Um, Jimmy actually told me to uh, solder, solder the battery sideways. I did a terrible job with it. Like I thought it was a bad idea, just because I'm they, personally I'm not that good at doing it upright. But I know some other people can do it. Whatever, whatever. That's his personal preference. But that was the uh, that was this uh, the third wire in series. The first one would go to the the negative one too as well so that so you would put like one like the black lead to the negative side and you put also the um you put a power lead to that too not to the negative side but to like the obviously the positive side because there's gonna be 14 strands or 15 strands there's gonna be 14 for the cells and there's gonna be the extra negative one And as you got, as I go through the video, you guys will start to see that uh, there's a pattern that starts to start happening here. So you guys will start to notice that once I flip the battery back and forth, you'll just see that it's like basically like you just skip a cell. If you want to put it in short terms, so you're just going to keep flipping the battery and try to make it neat as possible because there's a lot of wires it can get really tangled really fast so guys be very clean just try to follow like the instructions of the bms or whatever it comes with or just any other youtube tutorial on like what like how to keep your wires clean and just making sure you're using like the right amount of solder the right amount of not really the right amount just just really keeping it clean, clean keeping it neat I'm not going to say it's difficult, but I'm going to say it's time consuming because you have to make sure you're double checking which which wire goes to what battery cell. You don't want to put cell number four on cell number five or vice versa or cell number seven on cell number four by accident because your BMS will read it backwards. And if it, let's say it charges backwards or something like that, you could over you could overcharge and just waste a whole battery that you worked a lot, put a lot of time in, a lot of hard work and effort in. So you don't, you definitely don't want to do that. So make sure you double check, double check, triple check. Just be very smooth with what you're doing. Um, you'll see that once you get through the first couple uh, strings of wires, it's pretty easy. It's just at this point, it's just tedious because you just got to go back, double check, triple check. And then from there, once you get like the first, because, well, since we're folding this battery, you're only, this battery would be uh, seven cells and then the, not the bridge, but the, uh, what's it called? Like, I guess we're, the point of where you fold the pack to where, uh, yes. And so, and then you do the other seven cells from there. But yeah, it's, it's definitely, this was definitely a pain in the nuts. 
just flipping it back and forth because of the, how big it was and stuff like that and and like i still have to cut off those stupid extra cells and stuff those extra cell holders and stuff but that's that's like at the very end of it and i, I I'll, I'll show you guys what the end result would look like and what the everything in there and stuff but for right now just just bear with me There's a lot of videos out there and they're like very confusing. But like all in all, you guys should know that like every BMS will tell you to put each wire strand to the the positive um the positive cell groups. So anything that has like the small little button little nickel side, not the flat little not the nickel side. But like it has the it has the little button top side where it's uh whatever whatever not the flats not the flat round top side that's the negative side but uh actually let me speed through this a little bit quicker because it definitely takes a while this took this whole thing probably took me like an hour just to like make sure but i mean obviously you could do it in probably 20 minutes if you were well equipped enough but i'm well equipped enough just i just refuse to not take my time and risk losing it all but uh yeah you guys will need a 52 volt charger uh that actually charges up to 58.8 volts and it charges at, i think completely discharged it's four i don't know i usually stop i would usually stop at like 45 volts and uh it's, so like that's like because you don't really want to go too too low like getting to like the low threes like three like low three volts is kind of pushing it for lithium ion uh lithium polymer or lipo is a little different um they're they're much more <laughs> resilient and they and their voltage bounces back very easily versus uh, like a lion um it, it's not as I don't know. It it definitely would degrade faster if you just uh, if you just kept draining them very low versus like a lipo. But that is for another video for another time. Definitely, this other video is better than this to hear about that. But but this is what it, all the wires would look like all together. They're all like spaced out, like it's like one after another. It's not like simultaneous. It's not all like in, in a line. <laughs> Got to put a little bit of this uh, padding. I think it's like thermal padding, so you can put it between your stuff. So like it has a little bit of cushion, so they're not just even though they already have like the anti-shock proof spacers just you just trying to make take all the caution you can this thing is going on an actual dirt bike so well not a dirt bike like a mini dirt bike so you don't want to have it bounce around too much or if it falls over or whatever whatever yeah the other stuff is the captain tape that captain tape is it's gonna add a little bit of heat but it is fine it's just just don't make sure the battery doesn't short out or anything stupid and this is the part where we fold it and uh the fold is relatively easy you just fold it right in half make sure make sure nothing's touching if it shorts obviously take it off but uh, all right here we are for the bms the bms is was definitely a little bit weirder than we've expected you have to take off oh well, you don't have to take off the little little like metal connector piece we actually just uh soldered the negative piece uh well the battery negative piece sh directly to the main negative and then from there we uh grab the p minus negative which is the p minus the the b minus means battery negative the p minus means power negative so you then and then we just connected that to the, pa the power negative to the xt90 and you guys see now that we're heat we're heat shrinking the uh, what's it called we're heat shrinking like the heat shrink obviously to shrink it up and make it look neater before we put the power um the other power lead to the from the XT90.
to the main positive. All right, yeah, so we're putting the positive lead on. So for this, you wanted to make sure you had a lot of uh, uh, lead to put on this battery. So because because you want like a good, sticky, strong connection because you definitely do not want to get caught up having that thing fall off. But yeah, so you want to put as much solder on as you can. Yada, yada, yada. But there you go. So that's like the main part of the battery. I actually would like to show you uh, how I actually got the final product, but it, I had to use both hands and I couldn't really have a camera set up because it was kind of a tight space. But here it is. Everything all in all with the Bluetooth set up on the phone, everything. This thing came out pretty nice. A little more lumpy than I expected, but it is what it is, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like and comment. There's more videos coming soon. Definitely stay tuned for more. Thank you again for watching. Peace.